so was Zacchaeus a wealthy man? No doubt about it, clearly stated in the Gospel. Yes. Was he a happy man? I think no. He was a lonely man. No doubt, as a senior tax collector, he was at the top of his profession, but he was despised by his fellow men. As a tax collector, he was regarded as dishonest and corrupted, very corrupted. As a senior tax collector, he had grown rich by using his position of power to cheat people and to enrich himself. Jekaiah's story is a warning against greed, against enriching oneself at the expense of people. Very often, businessmen, capitalists, in their greed for more and more money or profits, often leave misery behind them so as some enrich themselves in dangerous drugs, in prostitution, human trafficking, illegal gambling, loan shucking business. Many of them have to go to Michael Chong for help. Huh? The corrupt practices that cause a great moral, spiritual damage to a human person. It is said that we should love people and use things. If we love things and use people, then it can lead us to a level of depersonalization of verse dehumanization. We can be like Zacchaeus who transformed his heart into a cash register at the expense of people and this led him to a disturbing emptiness and anguish of soul. His greed must have caught up with him giving him a troubled conscience. He must have realized that it was not right. It's wrong. Jacarius wanted to recover his lost soul, his lost identity, his dignity, his lost being. But then he needed someone to who can compassionately understand him, understand his situation instead of rejecting and condemning him. So he has heard something of Jesus. May a prophet, Jesus who welcomes sinners and tax collectors like him. And he wondered, he was anxious to know more about him. So in the midst of desperation, he had the humility and the courage to face the ridicule and criticism of people to reach out to see Jesus. So he climbed a sycamore tree. He forgot about his high social status. In fact, only a child can do what he did because it's very embarrassing. But it was exactly in climbing a tree that proved his resolve to be a child of God again. So when Jesus came to the place, he stopped, he looked up, and he said, Jacarius, come down quickly. I want to be your guest. I want to come to your house, not tomorrow, today. Wow, use our imagination. You know? He must be excited. You know? 
a person who was rejected, you know, and this person, popular person, uh, wanted to visit him. He felt accepted by Jesus. The Jews condemned Jesus uh, of being the guest of a sinner. Jacarius must have been touched. Uh, but Jesus, fraternal, uh, intended fraternal home visit uh, and non judgmental stones, uh, so greatly moves and thankful, yet a conversion of heart and decided to make restitutions. So he stood up and said, I am going to give half of my property to the poor. Half, 50%, just imagine. If I have cheated anybody, I will pay him four times the amount. Not just to pay him four times the amount. So he must be very wealthy to say that. There was a real 180 degree, 180 degree turnaround, which we call conversion or Repentance. Jesus calls it salvation. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house. In our Catechism of the Catholic Church, number 1459, it says, Many sins wrong our neighbor. One must do what is possible in order to repair the harm, to repair the damage done. Example, to return stolen goods, to restore the reputation of someone's slander, to pay compensation for, injury, for injuries. And raised from sin, the sinner must still recover his spiritual health by doing something more to make amends for his sin. This was exactly what Zacchaeus resolved to do. Half of his good will be given to the poor. Half of it will not be for himself, but will be used as payment for those whom he had cheated. And that is true repentance. Very serious and sincere repentance. Use our imagination. Jesus must have smiled. He knew he found once again what was lost. After all, there was his vision and mission. He has come to seek and to save what was lost. He knew that Zacchaeus regained his lost soul, his identity, his goodness as a person, the love in his heart. And Jesus said to him, Today, salvation has come to this house. For my slide, I put it, the salvation has come to Zacchaeus. So Zacchaeus might have lost his wealth and comforts, but then no more living with a guilty, troubled, disturbed conscience, conscience as before. But he found honor, dignity, peace, joy, and happiness. He found his dignity as a child of God. Jesus said, he too is a child of Abraham, a son of Abraham. He too is a son of Abraham, Jesus too. So for us, we too are a beloved children of God. That is our dignity as Christians. That can never be taken away. But it is a difference when we come to our subjective experience. 
So it is this dignity that we should not lose even as we struggle against the temptations of the world. So sisters and brothers, let us pray. Disturb my life, Lord, and help me to see that being with you and living a life pleasing to you is what truly matters in life. Can, can we have the last light? The last light is missing.